I have been getting questions from students about supplies. What supplies should you buy? And I have so many art supplies. And as I've been an artist for so long and teaching for so long, I wanted to make a video about all of my most favorite and wonderful supplies, hopefully to save you time and money doing research. So here goes. I'm gonna start with watercolor, my favorite watercolor supplies. So let's talk about budget, first of all. Number one, budget paint set that I would recommend is, and you think it'd be Crayola. Crayola's fine, but I really like this praying half pan with eight colors. Um, and the brush is kind of frayed in here, but this watercolor set is awesome. If you're a new artist and you're just starting out or you're a student, it's about $2 and like maybe, maybe $4. I don't know. I'll, I'll link products all at the bottom of this, but this is a great set for starting out. It doesn't have a pink in it, which I think is important. It's missing a few colors, but it's basic. And I think when you're first starting, it's good to have limited colors and to really practice using what you have. And then when you get better, you can buy better stuff. So there, praying half pan, I would recommend for brand new beginning artists. Um, a little bit higher up in the price point is this cute cutie, um, the Winsor & Newton Travel watercolor set. And let's see if I can open this with these nails. So this, I really like and it is super cute look at this this little thing has a water cup even though I prefer to use two water cups if you've seen my watercolor videos but look how cute this is this is perfect for traveling I use this all the time when I travel just stick it in my purse um, I always have watercolors with me which is probably weird but I do um, and there's that guy I've got a color chart for that as well so these are all of the colors that you can see and what I love about it is it has a warm and cool version of every color, which I think is really essential. And if you're only gonna buy one watercolor travel set and you need something that's a little bit, you know, affordable and that'll work for anything, I would highly recommend this one. It's great. So these are the Winsor & Newton Cotman watercolors. There's that. Okay. Now my most favorite brand of high-end watercolors of all time is Daniel Smith. I also love Sennelier. Um, these are mostly Daniel Smith and some Sennelier. This is my personal palette. And I'm showing you this because you can buy this palette on Amazon for about $14 and it comes with these little refillable cups. You can see these. And it's from a company called Medine. And they're making a lot of like, I would say knockoff, but they're really good knockoff art supplies. And I've been really pleased with their stuff and I'm actually gonna order some of their actual watercolors and see how they are, but I've really liked their palette. This palette is like $14 and I filled all of these. Um, and you can buy, so let me show you how this works. Here, here's my paint. You're gonna think I'm a hoarder. Um, here's my mostly Daniel Smith stock. And what I do is I organize these by color. So for example, this is a Quinn Rose, um, awesome color. And I, what I do is I just squeeze it into one of these little guys. And I always try to write with a Sharpie the name on the side or on the bottom and the number. So this will have a number on it or it'll just have a name in this case. And then I can remember if I need to refill it. And then I just leave this in here and let it dry and it can be re-wet. Um, this is an example. This is a Sennelier pan watercolor that you can actually order. And if you see, you can see the number. So this is like a 680 and I'm almost out. I'm gonna have to order some more and then I can refill this. But these come with these on here so you can find it. They say Sennelier on the bottom and these are probably like anywhere from seven to $20 for one of these little squares. So, you know, an investment, if you really like watercolor, totally worth it. And then little other things that we have here, Daniel Smith also comes in sticks, which is awesome. Um, you can buy these and what I do is I cut them off with an exacto knife like right here and I just stick them into my palette and They're very very pigmented so you can see some of these are from the sticks like this guy and that guy um, And they're they're pretty fun. So this is the palette. I'm gonna link that below Because this is great. I really like it and it's got like old janky stickers on it the next thing that I recommend, um, and this depends on if you like to use these or not, the Fine Tech Pearlescent Colors. I love these. Look at these, these are so pretty. 
these, oh, there's other stuff on here. These are pearlescent metallic colors. If you don't like to use pearlescent or metallics, then no worries about this, but this is what I really like is the fine tech and they sometimes go on sale so you can find good deals. There's two sets here that I have and they're different sets. Um, a budget option, if you wanna try the metallics but you don't wanna invest that much, is the Jack Richardson. These are much less expensive than the fine techs and they're awesome, they work really well. So Jack Richardson, looks like that, semi-moist metallics. And I love them. So in addition to pan watercolors, which come like that, and tube watercolors and stick watercolors, there are also liquid watercolors, which is a whole new ball game. Liquid watercolors are these, they're liquid, and they're also ultra concentrated, depending on what brands you get. My favorite brand of liquid watercolors is Dr. P.H. Martin's, and they make two kinds. They make the Hydrus Fine Art Watercolor and the Radiant Concentrated Watercolor. And I actually have a video about how these are different from each other um, in my channel. So if you want to learn a little bit more about these, this is just to recommend. So I'm not going to get into the details, but love these. I have both sets of these and they're awesome. They're really, really pigmented. And these come in tons of colors. They're used mainly for graphic design. Well, these guys are used more for fine art. So. Dr. P.H. Martins, amazing. Another thing that's fun if you're interested in metallic sheens and like messing with your own is the Jacquard Pearl EX Powdered Pigments. And these come in all different, let's see, colors. These are really beautiful. And you can mix these with your watercolor or your acrylic, whatever you use in small quantities and you can make all kinds of cool colors. So I really like these, they're fun. I don't use them as often, but they're really, really fun. Um, let's talk about, oh, watercolor markers. So these are the Lyra watercolor. They're called the Aqua Brush Duo, and these are water soluble. So you can consider these as part of a watercolor kit. And they look like that on one end, like that on the other end. I got these for about $12, and these are awesome. Also, if you're traveling, if I am gonna go somewhere and travel, I wanna take this with me, with the kit, and I want to take these guys and these are water soluble so you can actually sketch something out and then you can go back in with a brush and you can make that into a watercolor painting which is pretty cool so they come in a box that looks like this and they're not super expensive okay so oh and then if you want to see examples of some of these Dr. P.H. Martin's colors these are the radiant concentrated watercolor I just made some samples of all the colors that I have. So they're all so different and so pretty. So there's that. Let's talk about watercolor paper. My very first easy, best, and cost-effective watercolor paper is Canson XL. It is fantastically priced. I don't know how they do it for what you get because it's it's really good. Like I'm totally happy with it. Um, got all kinds of stuff in here, but this is Canson. Um, and it's like right now, I think on Amazon, I found the Canson XL watercolor paper that's just a little bit smaller than this was like $5. So amazing. Um, I also, I use arches, which is really expensive if I'm going to be doing a commission for somebody that they're going to want forever. But if I'm just doing graphic design work or anything that I'm going to be scanning, I'm using Canson. Um, another one that I really like that I just ordered is this Fabriano and I'm going to show you the cold press and the hot press. If you wanna learn about paper, I also have a paper video about the difference between cold press and hot press paper, so check that out if you want. This is great. This is a 50 sheet, um, and this was super affordable as well. Highly recommend, it's really thick. Um, cold press and hot press are used for different things. So hot press is a lot smoother than cold press. While we're talking about hot press, if we wanna talk about gouache, um, which kind of is in the watercolor family, my number one, favorite gouache that I've used is the Quran Dosh, however you say that. Um, it looks like this, the 15 color set. I love this. This is so much fun. And these are more opaque than watercolors. They have just like a, a different look. They're kind of in between acrylic and watercolor. Love this set. Um, highly recommend this. I would also highly recommend the 
Winsor & Newton Designers gouache, which comes in tubes. And again, you have to buy your own palette, um, which I would just go with the Medine palette and fill these out and make sure that you know which is which. But you can mix gouache and watercolor, and these are fantastic as well. So I just like this because it's so portable. And I love, I love the colors. I love the pink. It's like so bright and so much fun. So there's that. Um, what else? I always recommend getting a case of some sort. This is an old tackle box that I've had since college. Um, oh, this one. Another absolute must have is the Dr. PH Martin's bleed proof white ink. I love this. This is so good for adding details and you know, stars. What sometimes if I'm doing a starry sky, you can dip a toothbrush in it and just like flick it with your thumb and you get this like really bright white or if you need to add detail or correct anything, this stuff is amazing. Oh my gosh, brushes. Brushes are fun. So I kind of like my favorite brand of brush is Raphael, the Soft Aqua. I don't know why. I just feel like these are the ones that I always grab. Um, and then in terms of other brushes, I have my little giraffe that I keep my brushes in. Um, yeah, these are my favorite. This Raphael, I really like. What else do I like? The Royal and Lang Nickel Zen brand is really nice. And then these little minis. Um, these aren't the brand that I'm recommending because I have a different brand that's in a different box somewhere, but mini brushes are really great. These Simply Simmons, I think it's like such a cheesy name, but I really like this brand too. They're cheap. Um, this is a size two round Simply Simmons, and this is just like a good all around kind of detail brush. Even, look at this is a praying brush. I mean, it's it works. So there's that. And then I've got a lot of brushes in here that my grandma gave to me. She's an artist too. Um, I really like, for water brushes, these are the Molotow brushes. And they're kind of nice for detail. So any kind of water brush, that was good. What else do I have in here? Um... I tend to use the Faber Castell um, artist pens, brush pens in the shades of gray. It's kind of fun to add details to paintings, but often I actually take photos of my um, watercolor and I just kind of finish them on my iPad. So I don't always use those as much. It just kind of depends on your style and what you like to do. So those are my favorite things. Another absolutely amazing and fun thing to have is if you want to try the Daniel Smith watercolors, but you don't want to invest, they have this amazing thing called the color dot cards. And you can get any and all of the colors. I think they have over 240 colors that they have for, it's about $25, which seems weird to pay for, you know, five sheets of dots of paint on paper, but honestly, it's amazing. And you can take this with you if you're traveling and you can paint from this. So I've been using this for a couple of years, actually, hard to believe. Um, and you can just, you just wet these, grab a little color and give them a try. Um, and I was able to make something kind of fun with them. So I made myself a kind of a sample watercolor sheet of all of the Daniel Smith paints. These are all the colors that I got from, uh, not every color, but all, pretty much all the colors that I got from these. And I made this, no labels or anything, it's just kind of fun. Um, so, really fun to make. I had a great time doing this and I love doing stuff like this, but aren't these colors amazing? Oh my gosh, I love them, they're so beautiful. And what I like about the Daniel Smith is that you can really see the granulation, like look at, right there, you can see that. And then some of these have these beautiful sparkles in them. And these are just my favorite, I love them. I'm a total fan. Um, I've actually been to their factory and seen how they make their paint because it's here in Seattle where I'm from. And I've met the owner and he's a really nice guy. He's super interested in the process of making paint and the science and they, they use these minerals and rocks and it's just an awesome company. So, um, and this is not sponsored. I don't get, I don't get anything free. Um, I'm just saying what I like. So that's it. If Daniel Smith is out there and wants to sponsor me, um, I'm down. So, so always remember that you don't need to buy a whole bunch of stuff to practice and to be a good artist. You can use the cheapest supplies from the dollar store and you can still make awesome things. These are just some of my favorite things and 
if you have the money, try them. Um, if not, use what you've got and make the best of it. Thanks for watching. Make sure to